Okay, in today's lesson, we are taking different situations such as graphs, tables, and descriptions and using the slope from those to write an equation that we can use to determine outcomes. So our first example is the graph below represents the proportional relationship between cost x and number of minutes y. So I know when I see a graph, I need to find two points on that graph to help me find my slope. My first point I see is at 0, 0. The second point I see that's good would be at 420. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw my triangle to show my rise over my run, because that's what I use when I use a graph. So I'm going to draw up to 20 and then over to 4. So I'm going to start with my rise, which was the difference in y or the change in y. I went from 0 to 20. I went up on the graph, so it was an increase of 20. For my run, that is the change in x. I went from 0 to 4. I moved to the right, so that was also an increase, but of 4. To find the slope, I know I use rise over run. I know that my rise is my vertical movement, so that is 20 over my run, which was the horizontal movement, which was 4. I know I can simplify this. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5, so my answer to find the slope is m equals 5. So now I need to take that slope and I need to plug it into the equation y equals mx. So I'm going to rewrite it as y equals, instead of putting down m, I'm going to put in the number 5, and then I'm going to put the x, and that is my equation. Now I need to use this equation to determine the number of minutes used when the cost is $20. So the cost is my x, so the number 20 is going to go in place of x. So our equation again was y equals 5x. The cost is what's going in the place of x, so y equals 5 times the value they gave us, which was 20. Now y is where we're finding out the total minutes used. So y represents the total minutes used. 5 times 20 is 100. So when you spend $20, you have used 100 minutes. Okay, so our, our second example, the table below represents the proportional relationship between the total cost y and the number of hours x. So I know to find the slope from a table, I've got to find my change in y. To go from 45 to 90, that is an increase of 45, because remember I'm finding the difference between those numbers. To go from 90 to 135, that is also an increase of 45. To go from 135 to 180, that's an increase of 45. And to go from 180 to 225 is also an increase of 45. So my change in y is 45. Now I'm going to check my change in x. To go from 1 to 2, I'm increasing by 1. 2 to 3, increasing by 1. 3 to 4 is also an increase of 1. And 4 to 5 is an increase of 1. So to find the slope from a table, I know I use m equals change in y over change in x. My change in y was 45. My change in x was 1. So my slope is 45, because 45 divided by 1 is 45. So my answer is m equals 45. Now I need to use that slope to write the equation. So I'm going to start out with y equals, in place of m, I'm going to put 45, and then I'm going to write my x. We're being asked to use the equation to determine the total cost after 9 hours. So I'm going to start by writing the equation y equals 45x. We want to find the total cost y after 9 hours. Hours is x, so we're going to put in the 9 in place of x. y equals 45 times 9. So now what I have to do is I have to multiply 45 and 9. And I'm going to find out that y equals 405. So when I explain this, I'm going to say the total cost after 9 hours is $405. OK, 
Okay, then our last example is from a description. So the description below represents a proportional relationship between the cost Y and the number of hours parked X. So here's our description. Jose parked his car in the parking garage for three hours and spent $9, while Kyle parked for five hours and spent 15. The first thing that we have to do in this situation is we have to identify the ordered pairs. So Jose has an ordered pair and Kyle has an ordered pair. So for Jose's, I see that he was three hours for $9. So I'm going to write out my ordered pair for Jose as three, nine. So then I see that Kyle has an ordered pair where he has parked for five hours and spent 15. So his ordered pair is five, 15. So now I know I need to find the slope using those ordered pairs. Well, I know that my slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm gonna call uh, Jose's ordered pair x1, y1, and I'm gonna call Kyle's x2, y2. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull y2, which was Kyle's 15, and I'm gonna subtract from it y1, which was the cost of Jose parking his car. Then I'm gonna pull x2, which was five, because Kyle parked for five hours over Jose's, who parked for three, x1. So now I have to subtract 15 minus nine is six, five minus three is two. I know that six divided by two is three, so my answer is m equals three. So now I need to take that slope, m equals three, and write the equation. y equals, in place of m, goes three, and then we put the x. So we're gonna use the, uh, the equation to determine the total cost for 13 hours. Remember, hours is our x value, so we're gonna take that equation, y equals three x, we're gonna plug in the number of hours for x, y equals three times 13. We're gonna multiply three times 13, which is 39. So we have just found out that the total cost is $39 when parking for 13 hours.